And whatever you know may come to us, we wear it as a badge of honor because we're doing this for you know the people of Gaza. Tuesday marked a fourth day of pro-Palestine protests at the University of Texas at Austin. The demonstration was planned by the Palestine Solidarity Committee, which gathered at UT South Lawn despite their ongoing suspension. Only 24 hours after Jay Hartzell released a statement saying how he supports freedom of speech and supports protest, he suspended our organization. Half of the protests on UT's campus within the last week have been met with a heavy police presence, including help from Texas law enforcement agencies. In the university is very clearly and very blatantly trying to uh, silence and suppress protest. We come out every day just to prove that, you know, the university won't silence Palestinian free speech. In a statement to CBS Austin, the University of Texas System Board of Regents says in part, while free speech is fundamental to our educational institutions, it is violated when it includes threats to campus safety. UT administration says law enforcement confiscated weapons from protesters during the last few days of demonstrations. Weapons like bricks, chains, and even buckets of large rocks. Because of this, the Board of Regents says, quote, we will continue to call upon the DPS to secure our campus when needed. Texas lawmakers like Congressman Chip Roy have chimed in to support the university's quick response to what they call campus threats. Jay Hartzell and his team and staff at UT have done an incredible job, in my opinion. They have, they have been protecting free speech. They've been doing it all year. Organizers for the Palestine Solidarity Committee tell me the organization has never incited violence and more importantly, will continue to protest until the university divests in weapon manufacturers. But the reality of the fact is, this is the same university that's sending tens of billions of dollars uh, to companies like Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, Boeing, um, that are actually dropping bombs on you know innocent Gazan civilians, innocent children. Oh my God! Oh my God! Night? And day. On Tuesday, a few dozen students gathered on campus to demonstrate once again for an end to the war in Gaza. Just the day before, 79 people were arrested on campus. Today, the demonstration was immensely quieter. And they met us with that violence for just standing up and expressing our First Amendment rights. So if they want to continue to repress us, we will get up, stand back, and fight back. Matthew, Raneem, and Jenna were some of the organizers behind Wednesday's demonstration who chose not to share their full names. All of them students, all of them members of the Palestine Solidarity Committee, which is suspended by the university. What was running through your minds when you made the decision to still do something here on campus today? Um, honestly, this is held by the community member as, as well, but we decided to still come out here because we wanted to show that we are not afraid and our voices will not be silenced. But despite their status on paper as suspended, university officials, and in particular UT police, did not intervene. Instead, a handful of law enforcement stood on the sidelines. I think if the police had just left, left me and left us alone, uh, you know, obviously this wouldn't have happened. The university has pinned much of their response on what they say are outside agitators. A UT source told CBS Austin that preliminary numbers put nearly four dozen of Monday's arrests as non-students. Another protest is already set for Wednesday, and demonstrators say they don't plan to go quietly. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.